there she is. Uzume is over there. Nice find, me. Your eyesight's great, you being me and all. Ah, you're just flattering me. I'm not as good as my CPU self. Come on, you're too humble for being me. This is when you gotta say, cause I'm the protagonist. Eat that! <laughs> like I would. Ooh, that sounds pretty fun. Hey, how about this? Let's say it together. Ready? One, two... Cause we're the protagonists. Eat that! I feel my sanity collapsing! Uzume's more important right now than the Neptunes messing around. But what can we possibly say to console her? I cannot find the words. Then please, allow me to go alone. I've been with Uzume for a long time, and as I'm not a CPU, it may be easier for her to listen to me. Damn it! What the hell is this? In the past, I nearly destroyed Hyperdimension, earned the entire world's hatred, then got sealed away. On top of that, I'm nothing but scraps that broke off from the sealed me. And in the end, I gotta defeat myself, or the two dimensions will fuse. But if I disappear, so will the Zero Dimension, and me. I don't want this anymore. I don't want to think of anything anymore. Why? Why is it always Uzume? Why is it me? Uzume just wanted to grant everyone's dreams and live happily together. Uzume can't... can't decide. Uzume's a CPU. It's her job to protect everyone in Zero Dimension. What does she do? Someone, tell her! Someone answer her! No, it hurts! She wants to die! Let her die! She doesn't want to think! Oh, someone save her! Save me! Save her, Umio! Did you call for me, Uzume? Umio? Why are you here? It's not like you to return to your normal speech on your own. Umio? Umio! <laughs> Don't you already know? I would follow you for a lifetime. My deepest wish is to see your dreams come true, and to be next to you when they do. Even if you end up in a nightmare, Uzume, people do eventually wake from nightmares, so please, let's wake up together. <laughs> Are you all right now? Yeah, I showed you something real pathetic, but thanks to you, I feel a lot better. Uzume, if my thoughts are correct, you may be a piece of your conscience that broke away from your soul, infected with delusion, hatred. I'm my conscience? Yin and Yang. With all things in the universe, there are these two opposite sides. The human mind is no exception. After you left, Krar told us how the reports we found with Gearzy were the records of you that were erased from hyperdimension. It is true that the actions of those who did not think well of you were written there. However, the voices of those who were anxious for you were much larger in volume. You didn't try to destroy the world because of your hatred. You learned how you couldn't control your powers, and for the sake of the world, you willingly chose to be sealed away. I had no idea the reports contained that. I cannot know what's held in the memories you've regained, but don't be fooled by them. Memories are ambiguous and fleeting. The passage of time can change your interpretation, for better or worse. You mustn't look at the past with disdain. Hmm. Uzume, from today onwards, you will be working with this man on a grassroots publicity campaign. It's a pleasure to work with you. Planetune's amazing! Amazing! Uzume is so cute! I have a favor to ask, everyone. If you see our CPU pulling a pull wagon, please call to her with Lady Uzume! Lady Uzume! Lady Uzume! I can't move into Planet Tune anymore! No, please! Let me live in Planet Tune! I'm sorry, everyone. Guess it can't be helped. Lady Uzume. No. Uzume. Let's make this a wonderful nation. Lady Uzume's illusion powers went out of control again. Is there no way to save Uzume? 
Lady Uzume's assassination apparently ended in failure. Again, huh? If we don't do something soon, the nation will be destroyed. Thank goodness. She was such a good girl, too. Why did it end up like this? Grandma, can't we save Uzume? There she is! It's Uzume! Uzume, watch out! Oh! I'm so glad you are safe, Uzume. Don't cry. I'm here for you. My deepest wish is to see your dreams come true and to be with you on the day that they do. So as long as you're safe. So you truly wish to be sealed. I understand. And I apologize. No matter if it takes tens, hundreds of years, I will find a way to seal your powers. Until then, it will be but a short parting. I remember it now, Umio. The world was this kind to me. Wait just a second! Gah! Nepsy? Objection! I object to those memories! We had such a nice mood going. What is the matter so suddenly? It isn't sudden! You both tried to let it go by, but there was an important plot point there! Plot point? Do you mean East War? Not that. It's the words of the gentleman you seem close to in your flashback. My deepest wish is to see your dreams come true, and to be with you on the day that they do. They're exactly the same as Umio's lines. This means that Umio equals the man that showed up in the flashback then, right? Umio protected Uzume and lost his life, but because of the regret and emotions they both had, he reincarnated. I think that's right. That plot could work. Not only that, but it scores high points in a tragic romance from him not being human. This is definitely going to be the plot for my next Rookie Novelist Award entry. I know our series is prolific, but I never thought we'd see pure love in a game I star in. As a protagonist, how careless of me. At this rate, the only option I have is to roast him and eat him off the main cast. Yeah, it'd be totally unacceptable if, through a fluke, the series goes off the rails and the next game stars a young Umio in some harem title. C calm down, you guys. Why are you guys here? And how the hell do you know about my flashback? We came along with Umio, and we were here from the very beginning, actually. Then... you heard me cry, too? Yep, we heard it all as clear as day. Oh, and I'm a little late, but here's a handkerchief. Gah! By the way, your flashback was being projected behind you the entire time, Uzume. I mean, I thought the whole heart dimension plot point was confusing and bothersome, but it's pretty entertaining for times like these. No way! You got to peek into our minds, so it's fair and square now. Just kill me! Have you calmed down somewhat, Uzume? Y yeah Finally. But heart dimension and hyperdimension. Now that I remembered all that, I can't choose one over the other. Don't worry about that. The protagonist ne Neptune here has found our third option. Ooh! Little me is amazing! Tell us all about it. The other Uzume, oh, that's a mouthful. She's dark and is Uzume's opposite, so for now, I'll call her Kurome Ankokuboshi. As expected of the same person, even their naming sense is the same. If she becomes evil, then we could just cancel it out and purify her with sheer energy, like with Avimojas. I see. It's true that if the dark powers of negative energy is the cause, then the light powers of Share Energy should erase it. But will it be that easy? She's absorbed the entire world's negative energy for decades. The magnitude of stored energy is way too different. Worst case, it's possible our energy will be erased instead. But this is the only way we have that could save both dimensions. What will you do, Uzume? Sounds good. I'm on board with it. I never shy out of a tough gamble. 
Then there's no reason for us not to join in on this plan. But how will we go about it? She's not the kind of opponent we can take head on. No, we can do it if it takes place in this world. How do you mean? This is literally inside Kurame's heart. If negative energy is accumulated in her soul, then we can just purify this world. I see. That makes sense, then. Then we're going in, everybody. We'll start purifying from her heart's center.